Born in 1822 in what is now the Czech Republic, Johann Gregor Mendel was the son of humble farmers. From an early age, he showed a deep curiosity about the natural world. But poverty and illness shadowed his education. Seeking both stability and knowledge, he joined an Augustinian monastery, where the silence of the cloister became the stage for quiet revolutions. At the abbey, Mendel began experiments that no one asked him to do, breeding pea plants obsessively in the garden. He wasn't just growing peas, he was watching how traits pass from one generation to the next. Color, shape, height. Out. Over eight years and more than 28,000 plants, he noticed a pattern. What we now call dominant and recessive traits. In 1866, he published his findings. He had uncovered the basic laws of inheritance, long before anyone knew what DNA even was. But no one listened. His work was ignored, misunderstood, even mocked. Mendel eventually gave up science and was promoted to Abbot, where he spent the rest of his life buried in administrative duties. When he died in 1884, he was seen as a failed monk and scientist. His groundbreaking research gathering dust on forgotten library shelves, but decades later, scientists rediscovered his paper and gasped. His experiments were flawless, his logic decades ahead of its time. What the world had dismissed, it now embraced. Today, we call him the father of modern genetics. The man who died unseen became the foundation of all we know about heredity, genes, and the secrets of life itself. He never lived to see his genius recognized, but every biology textbook in the world now carries his legacy.